Hello, it's Suki, and welcome to the Fashion Notebook. So this video is the second part of my massive travel haul and if you clicked into this video and you haven't watched the first part yet, I strongly recommend you to watch it and I'll link it down below in the description box and also I put a card somewhere here so you can just press on the thumbnail and watch that and then watch this. Oh and also this part is going to include my longer trousers, my dresses and my handbags and my shoes and the other one was my tops and shorts and skirts so yeah let's start with my trousers first i have bought so many long trousers i don't know why it's not winter yet but i just have a lot to show you guys so let's just start with the basics i picked up a black skinny jean from Topshop and I love Topshop jeans. Their jeans are just really stiff, no, really of good quality that can last for a long time and I just thought where else I can get it except for Topshop because they sell the best black jeans. So this is the black jeans. And then I also picked up some similar trousers from Granny Melville because you know my love for stripes and patterns and gingham and all things pretty. So the first one I picked up from Brandy Melville is this a uh, vertical striped, really comfortable, like uh just straight leg trouser. I normally like to roll the ends up when I wear it so it has like a illusion that I have longer legs than I have if I get if you get what I mean. I also love the color combination white and gray it's just really pretty and I think I'm gonna have a lot of use out of this. It also makes an outfit so much more interesting with the stripes. And similarly I also picked up another stripe long trousers from Brandy Melville and this one is a different kind of stripe. This is a more subtle stripe compared to these big stripes. This one is like really tiny stripes that um accumu accumulates all over this trousers and I do the same thing as well I roll up the end so it looks more fitted and nice so that is that and then I also bought some gingham trousers you know my love for gingham just look I love gingham so much so I got a gingham trouser it's a pretty crazy purchase to be honest I have seen many bloggers wearing gingham trousers and I always wanted to get one for myself but I never really found like a perfect one for me until I actually found this in Topshop I've been wanting to get one of these for so long these are basically gingham trousers with ruffles on the waist and then there's also ruffles at the end of the leg and I have to be honest this doesn't really fit me that well when I tried it on I was debating where to get it but then I just fell in love with the gingham and the ruffle so I just got it I do regret a bit because I don't think I will get a lot of use out of this I hope that I will grow taller so I can fit this a bit better and then the last long trousers I got from my traveling and this one oh let me tell you this one I got from UK these two I got from Spain and this black one I got from UK as well and I think I got this trow jean from Spain and this is from Springfield which is a brand that I've never heard of and I've never seen before so these are just basic blue denim skinny jeans that is super skinny like I got this in a size 38 and I usually wear a 35 no a 34 slash 35 that is how skinny this is like I just couldn't fit in in the 34 one it was just extremely skinny this one is like a size 38 right yeah 38 and it still looks really really tight and this is just a bit big for me in the waist area but I think it would do fine if I cinch in like a belt or something what caught my attention is the really really in trend kind of like street style um what is this called? The street style um, sport jogger striped at the side. I just love this detail so much. Like I would insert pictures of blogger wearing these kind of um, joggers but I'm not a big fan of joggers because I'm quite short and I think joggers just makes me look really undressed up and I just don't like the vibe it gives out. So when I saw this on like a pair of tight leg jeans, I just had to get it even though it didn't really fit me that well on the waist but I guess putting on a belt will help a lot okay now we are done with the clothing and oh no I still have a dress to show you guys actually so this is the last piece of clothing before I move on to my bag 
bleh, bags and shoes. So I also picked up a dress from Brandy Melville. I actually got so many things from Brandy Melville and I love the brand so much. Um, I just got this really cute baby doll dress. It just reminded me of Gingham. The print is like squares but not so gingham there is also another one in gingham but i thought i have too many clothing items in gingham already so like i thought this print is quite cute as well now off to accessories let's start with bags first so um i have bought two bags one from london and one from barcelona so in london i went into urban outfitters and i saw this tote bag and I just I love it. I just love the dusty pink blush color and the bold black square in the middle. And it's just so cool. And it's just really like basic, but it's very spacious and very stiff with good material. It was also on sale. So I got it from like for eight pounds, I think, which is a great bargain. And I just love it. And then this NYX handbag is actually something that i didn't ask for okay before you called me spoiled or anything i'm 17 by the way i know i look 14 but i'm actually 17. um i got this handbag and it's from gucci it looks something like this and i just really liked it and i just saw this bag sitting on the shelf and i was just like oh my gosh i love it because there's like this really cute bow on it and then there's just a color combination it's just everything and then like my parents bought it for me so that is basically the story um if you want to see more of my bags i did a what's in my boy chanel designer bag so if you want me to like explain this bag in like more details and open it and show you guys what I can put inside just comment down below and tell me that you want to see like a Gucci bag uh what's in my Gucci bag thing because you guys seem to be really interested in my designer bags and like I like to make contents that you genuinely like so just comment down below or give this video a thumbs up just to let me know if you are interested in seeing a video just about this Gucci bag now we are off to the shoe section of this video and you guys are probably thinking I'm super duper spoiled because I do have another item from Gucci and I just freaking love these shoes to death. Like these shoes are just ugh. So I got a pair of Gucci trainers. Oh, whoops. And it's like that. So it has like flower embroidery over the side and it has a typical Gucci Christmas color green, <laughs> red and green stripe and it has a bow at the back It says Gucci in the bottom and I've worn the shoes for a lot of times already because I just love these shoes so much I think it's just so classy. It's so pretty So the second shoe pair of shoe that I'm going to show you is also a pair of trainers. They're from Puma It is just a really simple black um, suede material Trainers with really cute thick shoelace it's like a lace shoelace and it has like a sparkly sole which i love i bought this in london this one is from heathrow airport london as well this one is from london oxford street yeah so that is the end of my haul and i have actually successfully shown you guys everything i got from london to Spain. <laughs> well, yeah, I guess if you have enjoyed it and if you have given it a thumbs up, remember to tell me in the comment section below if you want to see more about my Gucci bag or if you want me to talk more about these shoes. I don't know. People are more into designer stuff. But anyway, I hope to see you guys very soon. I'll try to film another video very soon, which will probably be like an outfit video, I think, because I haven't done that for so long. So yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next week and hope you will have an amazing day after watching this love you all bye